Discovered by the Germans in 1904, they named it San Diego. We're back in the city of Ron Burgundy. Welcome to San Diego. Now normally I'm not a huge fan of lines or crowds, but with Opportunity Knocks, you whip open the door. And that's why today, for my very first time, I'm headed in to San Diego Comic Con. Just about two hours from now, when the Comic Con opens, there will be hundreds and thousands of people milling about out here. But today, my friends Count Stankus and Adam the Woo and I are headed into the convention a little early. I never thought I'd get a chance to come down to Comic Con, but this year we were invited by Gentle Giant Studios, hooked up with the legitimate exhibitor passes, so I've made it down here at last, and now we're headed into the convention before it actually opens. You ready to woo this thing? You are. Wow, look at this. All the very early birds are starting to line up. And all the people working at the convention are showing up to man their booths. It gets very crowded on the show floor during the day. So we're using these badges as an opportunity to see it before the crowd is packed in there. And check this out. Whoa, San Diego Comic Con with no one around. We popped in very briefly yesterday. And there were thousands upon thousands of people in these hallways. I gotta be honest with you, this is a much more pleasurable way to see everything. And look at this, here is the booth of Gentle Giant Limited right here. These are the guys that brought us to the convention. They make all kinds of high-end collectibles, particularly some seriously epic Star Wars collectibles. All kinds of sick collectible busts. Giant gigantic upscaled versions of the old Kenner Star Wars action figures. I mean some seriously cool stuff for the very serious Star Wars collector. Look at this gigantic 12 inch version of Bib Fortuna. All these products on display are very impressive, but you know what's impressive? Most impressive? This gigantic hairy Wookiee. Actually, who do you think is more Wookiee looking? Adam the Woo or Chewbacca, huh? I don't know. Chewbacca's just a little bit taller. But they both seem to be pretty darn hairy. As you can see, they're getting it all set up, polishing all the glass. Pretty awesome stuff. As you can see, these guys are getting everything all set up, vacuuming, polishing the cases. Getting ready to show off all those sweet, gentle, giant products to the world. I'm the marketing manager here at Gen Gentle Giant LTD. We've been a company that's been around for almost 20 years. Our sort of claim to fame is we were the first company that brought 3D scanning technology to a mass market product, to, to, to making consumer products and things. But then we also have a, a whole bullpen of super talented digital sculptors that make just some of the coolest product yeah. around. Right. So. That's what we love, and that's what we do, and that's what we're gonna show you here. Dude, look at all this rad stuff. Concept art Yoda, Return of the Jedi Luke. And most of the lightsabers on the newer little busts like that actually light up, and look at this. Look at the size of that Boba Fett. I don't know if you can tell. Look, there's the size of my hand. You can tell that is one upscaled Boba Fett. Plus they've got this whole line of pins, like the old Star Wars action figures. Should be in the stores this winter. So, we're the exclusive enamel pin people outside of the Disney parks for Star Wars. So that was that was a big gift for us. So awesome. We started with a, a lot of kind of fun retro ones because we love the, the old gotcha. school figures, but we've got, you know, we can do movies, we can do logos, we can do ships, whatever we want. They've so. got all kinds of other stuff. They've got Marvel stuff. Check that out, huh? They've got this stuff over here. They've got Venom eating a lollipop. And would you look at the size of that basketball player? That's some pretty amazing stuff, man. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of years ago when I was filming Star Wars Celebration 2015, Gentle Giant was there. And they had full-on life-sized statue versions of those Kenner figures. I love vintage Star Wars. So the upscale versions they make are very appealing to me. All right, definitely have to give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to Gentle Giant for bringing us down here. Where do people purchase Gentle Giant products after this convention? Well, I'll tell you. Okay. GentleGiantLTD.com is the place for all the information, all the pre-orders, all the in-stock merchandise. And all of this stuff is coming to All the of it's coming, yes, yes, absolutely. Some of it's there already, some of it's coming. We brought a lot of new stuff. This is always sort of the big show. It's like Nerd Burning Man, where you get yeah. them all together. <laughs> I like that, Nerd show. Burning Man. That is awesome. We're supposed to be doing stuff with them later in the day, but I guess right now, while this convention floor is empty, is a great time to wander around and check out some of the other displays. Dude, would you look at the size of this convention? Look at all the displays out here. Ooh, My Little Pony. I always said if I'm ever gonna own a pony, 
pony. I want it to be mine, and I want it to be little. Yeah, check this out. Here's the Hasbro booth right across from Gentle Giant. Hasbro, of course, does all those Star Wars figures, a lot of Marvel stuff. Check out this fun pick opportunity. They've got it there booth. Whoa, that's one sick glove. I feel so powerful. Whoa, check this out. Look at this huge Star Wars booth promoting the future digital release of Solo. They got all kinds of t-shirts for sale. They've got costumes on display. And from what I understand, they have the Millennium Falcon's cockpit set up in there, of course. Not quite open. Whoa, check out the huge Mattel booth. Look at the size of these giant Hot Wheels over here. And that's not the only giant they've got at their booth. Anybody want a peanut? My way is not very sportsman-like. Dude, check out the back of their booth. They've got this huge Jurassic World set up in here. Well, my favorite part is the electric fence. <laughs> Best dad joke in movie history. Whoa, look at this. They're still setting this booth up. Check out that alien right there. Ooh. Whoa, check this out. We've stumbled upon the Lego booth. And check out what they've got over here. Another Millennium Falcon cockpit. And this one is Lego. Whoa, that's a lot of bricks. Look at all this stuff. Oh, it's very hard to make a decision on what to see before the convention actually opens up. There's only a few more minutes of this peace and quiet out here. Ooh, look at this. There are actually comics at Comic-Con. Nowadays, San Diego Comic-Con is famous the world over for being the big place where all the Hollywood movies and corporations and all the different fandoms come together to promote their new products. Perfect example, promoting Family Guy. The mobile game, that is. It's a lot more than just comic books now. My primary interest, like Count Stankus is here, are the toys, though. I don't know what it is, man. I just love toys. But ahead is Sideshow Collectibles, the most insane toys you can ever buy. Oh, whoa. Look the size of this booth. Whoa, it seems like they've got acre and acre of all kinds of busts. And statues and characters, but I'm primarily interested in this. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that Ecto-1. That is a one-sixth scale vehicle right there. Highly, highly detailed and, you know, kind of pricey. That is pretty cool. Definitely some crazy stuff out here. That's for sure. It's interesting that what used to be just a few people trying to recapture a little bit of their childhood by buying up old action figures that they used to have and collecting them has turned into a full-fledged collectibles industry. Now, 20 years ago when I started high school, it was still considered very, very nerdy. To be into comic books and superheroes, etc. I gotta tell you, it feels pretty good that fandom, as we now refer to it, has become such a widespread and accepted thing. I remember literally getting made fun of for collecting Star Wars action figures in high school. And nowadays, if you're into science fiction or comic books or anime or video games, you fit right in everywhere. I personally think that that is freaking awesome. There's a lot more acceptance nowadays. Look at this, thousands upon thousands of adults coming out here to check out old school original King Kong faces, buying high-end superhero costume replicas. Wow. All right, that is awesome. Of course, now Nowadays, a lot of people do complain that Comic-Con has sort of been taken over by the corporate promotion world. For example, you got the Walking Dead booth over here. You've got the ABC booth back here. Warner Brothers is down this way. But I think that's more of a reflection that mainstream culture has gone geek. And personally, I think it's cool that major corporations are finally figuring out that there's all these exciting, creative, open-minded, and amazing fans all over the world. Wow, look at all this stuff. We popped in here just for a second at the end of the day yesterday and it was so crowded. But even though we walked pretty much the entire convention floor, I didn't see any of this. All these sick custom collectibles and stuff. That's wild. One of the most crowded booths yesterday was of course the Funko booth. One of our good friends works for Funko. But it's been difficult to locate her because of the sheer size of the crowds around this booth during the day. Look at all this activity over here. They've stocked up all the shelves again. But from what I understand yesterday they sold out all their Comic Con exclusives like that. And look at how many exclusives they have. That is quite the smorgasbord. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, look, I found my twin. Man, you know, even though it's rad to be in here when no one's in here, it's a little more exciting when all the booths are actually open. Oh, look at that. Princess Leia. I think that's a sign. Our first cosplayer that they're about to open up the doors. I see a lot more booths are opening up, getting ready to go. People are starting to murmur. Dude, this is awesome. Look at the shite of that reptar. Oh, and wow. Double dare. Looks like Nickelodeon is bringing back all the old school stuff. Whoa. Whoa, look at this, a Comedy Central South Park booth. Look at this fun pick. Hey, guys. They also have a South Park trivia game where two people sit across from each other at this table. And if you get the answers wrong, Randy Marsh over there will vomit on you. Actually, I've been corrected by someone at the booth. He might vomit on you even if you get the answer correct. So, hashtag fun vomit. All right, the convention is about to open, and before it does, we have to go do a few things with Gentle Giant. So I guess that's it for the before the opening. Prepare yourselves, because we're going from this nice peaceful view to this much different view. Look at all the people already jamming into this place to get all the Comic-Con exclusive items, get in line to meet their favorite celebrities. I don't know why we're all raising our hands, but I want to raise mine too. And this is just the very beginning of the day. Look at this, though. It's about to get a lot worse. They've just opened up several more of the entrances. I was wondering why it wasn't that crowded yet. I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot more cosplayers. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, people look very, very excited to get in here. This is Adam and my very first Comic-Con. So we're barely just getting the lay of the land. We haven't even been upstairs yet. Wow, judging from the flurry of activity up here, I'm guessing a lot's going on. Check this out, here's the freebie table with all kinds of guides and weird stuff. There's a gigantic Comic-Con Merch booth back there. I mean, huge. It's like the size of a small city block. You're saying, can you spare any Adam? Yes. His name is Adam. No, that's really? Adam. We can spare one Adam for you, sir. Yes. Now I can have some Adam. Quite a lot going on. This is the autograph area. So pretty soon, all the big celebrities will be coming here to sign autographs, take pictures. Not us, though, buddy. Not us. Not us. No. I just love seeing all the cosplay. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are here. That's awesome. You guys headed over there to sign some autographs for people? Yeah. Hopefully. Nice. Well, I don't believe any of us are going to be standing in line for any autographs today. I don't know about these guys, but I don't have much money at the moment to do any shopping. And we don't have a lot of time to wait in line to go to any of the big panel discussions. That's obviously a big chunk of what goes on here. The shopping, the getting of the autographs, trying to find the droids you're looking for, seeing panel related to your favorite show or movies. But even without participating in all that kind of crazy stuff, it's still a pretty good time out here just looking at the booths and just seeing all the people in those crazy costumes like this Wookiee here. Oh my gosh. It's Orokusaki, the Shredder. That is amazing. You don't see a lot of Shredders or Turtles out here. I'll bet it never has to look for a can opener. Groot! Ooh, dancing group. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, packs whatever a spider can. Now inside we see these guys, characters of every shape and size. Whoa, the epic cosplay is already beginning. I gotta tell you guys, no matter how much Star Wars they put out there, I never get sick of seeing a good stormtrooper. I realize some people are suffering from Star Wars fatigue, but with old school Star Wars stuff like this Kenner style Millennium Falcon spaceship photo, I can't help but get excited. Ooh, and look at that fun pick opportunity. These are some sick picks. Ooh, speaking of Star Wars, there's my first Kylo Ren of the day, hanging out with Poison Ivy. Look at the Lego booth now, huh? Much different looking than earlier today. People are waiting in quite a long line to get in there and get their fun picks, check out the merchandise. And speaking of merchandise, now that the booths are open, we can actually see some of it. Check out this NECA booth. Yeah, the guy Ninja Turtles figures they produce. Not only are the figures spectacular and highly, highly detailed. In addition to the figures, they're also selling this crazy backdrop here. Dude, six-year-old me would have lost his mind to have these. It's amazing the detail that they can accomplish now. Look at just the texture even of the skin. Not to mention the epic hyper-realistic sculpts. Oh, look at Miyagi. Ooh, and look at Blanche. Dude, they've got a Home Alone figures in here. Here. Whoa, the Hasbro booth looks a little bit different than it did this morning when it was all empty. Finally, we can get close to all those sweet, sweet Star Wars action figures. And would you look at the 
Mark Strange of this display. There is a lot going on over here. Vintage series, black series. Magic the Gathering? Huge solo themed dioramas. That is some intense stuff. Of course, they don't just have Star Wars. Let's not forget their Transformers. And apparently, they're doing something with the Power Rangers now. Weird. Wow. Holy mighty Morphin Negazord! Now I love all of those collectibles. Love seeing that stuff. Even better than seeing miniature versions of things from the movies is seeing the actual things from the movies. Check out these actual movie props, including Christopher Reeves' actual Superman costume. Look at that! That was a super. So you're Superman. telling me in 1970 they saved the same suit for two years later for Chris Reeves to wear again? Mind blown. Oh, they would never do that now, man. They would redesign it and put nipples on it for the second movie. You know what I mean? Nipples? That's how they roll now, dude. Bat True. nipples, super nipples. Dude, look at this planet of the apes costume. Check this out. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, and speaking oh, of Superman. Look at the green crystal right there. That's from Superman 2, right? No, yeah, Superman 1. Oh, it's Superman 2, yeah. Dude, 1970s Captain America motorcycle style helmet. As you can imagine, this is a very popular booth. And the props are just getting better. Look at that. There's Indiana Jones's hat from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And over here, much less popular, but excites me much more. The helmet from the Rocketeer. Check it out, dude. It's the battle damaged version. The most underrated Disney movie of all time. I want this. Don't get me wrong, though, I would also like to have Indy's whip and hat. That would be handy. Yeah, the props from Troy I could take or leave. What about you? Like Troy? Big Troy fan? Okay. Whoa, no way! Spaceballs! Star Wars! Dude, even Ghostbusters 2. Look at that Slimer Mac hat. Oh, man! There's Jumanji! Like, you know, there's actually Jumanji, the game! Holy goodness, look at all of this stuff. There's a goblin puppet from the labyrinth! Wow! Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber! Everyone's favorite Jedi! Watch that. Watch that movie. Look, look at this. The piece de la resistance. Look at that. Han Solo's jacket. The real Han Solo's jacket. Dude, that is amazing. Yeah, these are definitely always my favorite booths. The ones with all the props. Whoa, check this out. Remember the way it looked all peaceful and nice this morning? Well, check out the floor of the exhibit hall now. That is quite a transformation. Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh, you slipped, hit your head and invented the flux capacitor. I love that. Oh, great Scott. Oh, it's a video. Jump in gigawatts, Marty. Marty! Oh. We are just talking about your kids, Marty! And the end, Marty! 1.21 gigawatts? How am I going to generate that kind of electricity? It can't be done, can it? Oh, Jon Snow. Hey, do you know where the bathrooms are? Wait a minute. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Know Never nothing. mind. Never mind. Wow, this is completely different than it was this morning. It's difficult to get anywhere near the Funko booth now. Whoa, but we made it through the crowd. Look at all the sold-out exclusives. You're not getting a Golden Girl skateboard today, Adam. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, it's quite a crowd. They gotta keep clearing people out from in front of the booth. It's so popular. A lot of interesting merchandise out here. Like, look at this poop. If your poop is that color, you should probably see a doctor. This looks a little healthier. A lot of cool stuff out here. Ooh, look at that Chewbacca with pores. Not as much used or vintage stuff as I would normally like to see, but Comic-Con, that's the big show. It's quite a serious investment to come get a booth at Comic-Con and promote your materials. Whoa, check out all those cool masks. Ghoulsville. That's awesome. I love it. We have Count Chocula, Booberry, Frankenberry, and they even have patches for all of it. Look at that fruit brood. Whoa, look at this NES cartridge. He's come to life. I've been in court all week before this convention, so I really didn't have time to prepare or look up what was going to be here. This is all just being done on the fly. Mario, I've been looking for you. And Luigi, find us. you guys. Charged to unclog a toilet. I have this toilet. It's really clogged up. I heard you guys were the best plumbers in the business. It'll be just a couple hundred for you. Okay, a couple hundred coins. <laughs> yeah, all right. Mushrooms, not, Mushrooms, not coins. coins. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, I'll call you later. Bye-bye. Mario loves his shrooms. <laughs> hey, it's Michelle Nichols. Good to see you again. Aww. Nice to 
see her again. I just met her at WonderCon. I may love Star Trek, but you guys know I'm a Star Wars guy. Someday I've got to get me one of these. Speaking of Star Wars, this company here, most famous for making that Stormtrooper armor, is now producing <laughs> epic miniature versions of the ships from Star Trek Discovery, complete with all kinds of details. They're making Star Wars stuff. They're making Star Trek stuff. They're bringing universes and galaxies of different fans together. I feel like most Star Wars fans were also Star Trek fans, but I feel like a lot of Star Trek fans didn't like Star Wars for a long time. I mean, I could be wrong. That's just the perception that I had. What do you guys think? Indy! The Full Metal Alchemist is here too. Whoa, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? He's right there. Awesome. Wow, there's a wonderful Wonder Woman. That is a very relaxed Darth Vader. What do you got there? Oh, the repair manual. You're gonna need that. Spoiler alert. I knew it. I knew Jar Jar was evil. I had a feeling. You know, Fred looks an awful lot like Will Ferrell. Whoa, that is gnarly. You've got an alien cosplay over here. And the Predator. Double team, alien versus Predator. And this guy is caught in the middle. That's freaky. Whoa, look at this over here. That's a lot of Simpsons fans. Well, see, I am a comic convention noob. I've only ever been to a few of them. And I definitely made a huge mistake coming here just for the one day with no plan. I'm starting to realize I'm not even going to see 10% of this place and all the stuff there is to see today. No way. But I do see Indiana Jones and his dad over there. Junior. Ginger. Look what you did. Look what these people did. It looks like the old Mego Toy Company is back. With the original founders part of the company too, Marty right? Brought it back and Dr. Doing his thing to back at bring Mego. It back. That's no, it awesome. Ah, oh, check this out. They've got the Fonz, the Brady Bunch, Jimi Hendrix. Even married with children, dude. Nice. They gotta make the, uh, the, the living room scene. Ah, uh, check it out. They even have some sets. I Dream of Genie. They're making more Mego Star Trek figures. So you can finally get a check off or a Sulu. All those guys you wish you could get back in the day. But they just never made one. Look at that. Bela Lugosi as Dracula, right here with Dr. Mego. Honestly, amazing being here, but super overwhelming, dude. I don't know about you, but this is going to be a failure trying to document this. It's, it's impossible. There are thousands of people here filming, documenting, and no one, no one? And none of them are going to see it all. It's impossible. It's huge. I will. All right, we finally made it to the extreme opposite end of the hall. It's been one long journey. But on this far end, they've got plenty of video game related booths. Check out this giant Capcom booth. With this crazy Resident Evil photo op right there. That's pretty wild. This zombie guy keeps running around on top of this cop car. Pretty intense, dude. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Look who's making their way through the crowd. It's the Dark Lord of the Sith. And, and his drawings. entourage. You gotta watch out over here. You gotta watch out. Don't get too close to Darth Vader or his bodyguards will mess you up. He's getting a selfie. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest zombie fan in the world. They kind of make me sick. But I am a Capcom fan. Because I grew up playing Mega Man. And look at this sick pick opportunity. You get up on Rush. You put on the M Blaster. And check that out right there. You get your fun pick. I got one yesterday. Check it out. What a fun one. Look at this. They got Xbox merchandise over here. Even the gods are impressed. Nintendo Switch has got a huge setup out here. I don't really understand their photo op. But their booth is very popular. Quite a long line. Up oh, there is the obligatory loot crate booth. Always gotta have one of those. And in the very back corner, the Blizzard booth. They got all kinds of merchandise back here. They're showcasing all their new stuff up on these big screens. It's just crazy what a big deal it is here. Just the sheer amount of products that get announced and showcased Showcased here. Yes, there's a reason why it's so crowded. Oh, I didn't know Comic Con was evil too. Extremely evil with crowds. We're actually taking one more walk back to the Funko booth and have to leave the convention floor and come out to the hallway just to get there because it's become so crowded in different parts in there. And more people are still streaming in by the dozens and the hundreds. Boba Fett. 
Boba Fett? Where? I'm seeing double. Double Boba. That's some heavy duty artillery. Watch out for this guy. Yes, trooper. Oh. What's going on, I bud? do not know what just happened right there. Whoa. That is some serious weaponry right there. Whoa. Oh, oh, sweet. We successfully went around a big chunk of the crowd down there. Kind of weird how one area will be completely blocked up, but then you'll hit these weird patches of open space where you can meet new friends. There's so much to see, we'll definitely never see it all. But we have now seen a pretty good chunk. We've almost made it full circle back to the gentle giant booth. Oh, it's the tick. We're Greetings. getting a pick with the tick. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. How cool. Spoon. Spoon. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a crazy job. Ghostbusters walking around. There's Imperial troops everywhere. Whoa, I almost didn't see it. You're camouflaged. It is just totally and completely overstimulating. Every time I start to say something to you guys, I'm starting a thought. Some new crazy thing jumps out at me and I get totally distracted. Like this. Robot Stormtroopers. The ghost with the most. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Hey, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, look how crowded this section where we started has become now. It's now become almost impossible to walk. It's a slow, steady shuffle. Ugh, out of control. Oh, but now the Deadpool's dance party is inside. I know. The gentle giant is right next door. Which means the Deadpool's dance party here is basically bringing us full circle. We didn't see everything on the show floor, but for our first visit, we sure did see a lot. Really appreciate gentle giant inviting us out here to check this out. My first ever Comic-Con experience. But I think now that I've seen so much and now that the crowds are getting thicker and thicker. Before we wrap things up, it might be time to check out a few things outside of the convention center. So goodbye show floor, goodbye gentle giant booth, and hello San Diego. Uh, oh, 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 that feels so good. Oh, space! Wonderful space! So much space! That is 100% better. Conan knows what I'm talking about. Lots of space out here. It's nice. Right. Yeah. Great space. It's weird. I just saw Conan the Barbarian. Last night I saw Conan O'Brien. I think some people have come back around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty. I don't need another one now. I'll My friend the same faces Sorry. again and yeah. again. Yeah. I'm running late. Conan, you're for awesome. My next you just shoot. like cough for me? You're awesome. <laughs> you got Thank it. You so much. Thank you so much. I do it. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty random, just wandering down the street, seeing a crowd, and then spotting Conan O'Brien. You know what else is pretty random? Coming across the street from Comic Con and finding this. Just when I thought I was getting away from all the hubbub. Hello, and behold, some more hubbub appears. Look at this whole area. It's the Ghostbusters world. Would you look at the size of that marshmallow man? All right, who couldn't clear their mind? Dude, that is awesome right there. I was just in New York City not too long ago filming Ghostbusters filming locations, but they didn't have this in New York City. Quite a long line out here in the sun to get your photo with the Ecto-1, but this is the actual original car from the movies, according to that sign over there. So if you're dressed up as a Ghostbuster, this is obviously a must-do. Of course, I got your standard food trucks out here, some of them slightly more themed than others. That one's shaped like a potato. And what the, oh, waffles. Wow, that's pretty cool. A whole hug group pick area. The History Channel's all set up out here. And look at this Discovery Channel Shark Week display. Feed the shark. Feed the shark. Feed the shark. Oh, my God. We're going to need a bigger boat. I'm going to nickname him Splinter. Oh, and look at this. Always nice to see a Jurassic Jeep around. I want one of those. Comic-Con itself is crazy. I knew that going into that convention center. What I didn't know was the Comic-Con craziness spills out into the whole city nearby. Look at this. It's like the whole city has been taken over by promotions. What you look at the size of that monkey. Dude, he's going ape on this concrete right here. Get it, Stankus? You know, that guy kind of looks like uh, someone I know. The Daily Ape. I mean, look at this. It's a very bizarre but very cool feeling to see a whole major city's downtown overrun with geeks and nerds and weirdos and friends and fans. And Adam the Woo? This is out yeah, of control yeah. down here. Crazy. A lot of crazy.
crazy stuff going on out here. I don't even know what the heck is going on. Wow, protesters and counter protesters, and Batman and Robin out here. What the heck is this? It's like sci fi channel. It's got some sort of costume thing going on. There's a band here. It's hard to hear it all over all the loud music out here and all the screens and all the crowds. No wonder people come down here and spend days and days. There's just so much to see, so much to do. I mean, even down here in the gas lamp, right across the street from the convention center. All through downtown, no ticket required, or all these pop up shops and events. And I wish I could film them all. Unfortunately, this trip to Comic Con is just the one day. But maybe, just maybe. Maybe if I'm very good and cross my fingers super hard, I'll get to come back next year and soak in more of the Comic Con insanity. But for now, though, I think that's all we got time for. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us at Comic Con. Thank you, Adam the Woo. Count Stankus, too. Thank you to Gentle Giant for bringing us here. We've done our duty. We can go home. Oh, and sleep. around. I'm jealous of that outfit. Very <laughs> jealous. You. Love Mega Man. Never beat Mega Man 2 though. That stupid quick beam level, you know, with the, the beams. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely getting a lot more crowded. It's heating up in here. All the booths and displays and humans and cosplays are all starting to blend together. Blend together. Blend together. Also filming a video here. YouTube.com slash the Naming Woo. Count Stankus. You can look up Count Stankus and see his video. Count Stankus. Yeah. Check out Gentle Giant. I've got some sweet merchandise too. You can check that out at JustinScar.com or Spreadshirt or all the links down below. And then you'll have done your duty. I showed you guys a lot of fun stuff today, but this is the reality of this whole thing indoors and outdoors. A lot of heat, a lot of body heat, which is usual when you and I get close together. A lot of body heat. Oh, and then all of a sudden, nothing. This is definitely worse than right going to Disneyland or something. It's got a bigger capacity just for the badge to people indoors. The Plus lines are longer. Tens of thousands. There's no of fast passes. Here. There's no fast food. I don't know what I just said. There's no shade. No shade. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of fun. It's a hoot. But uh, I definitely should have planned better. You know, brought some sunscreen, maybe some more water. I'm thirsty, Adam. I'm just watching my footage back. Oh, you're already watching your footage back. He who laughs at his own footage has <laughs> has the most fun. Yeah. I, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm filming now. I'm already done filming. There's about to be a battle charge brace I can't, style. I just can't stop. All right, look at this. Whoa. What a fun one. Whoa, whoa. Someone needs to cosplay as William Wallace. <laughs> yeah, Captain. Oh, and that whole crowd was just the line to get back. Badgers only. They keep yelling badgers only. Badges? Uh, you have to walk around. I can't let you through. You oh, okay. have to have a badge. Thank you. You have to have Thank badgers? You. Thank you, yeah. Only badgers? <laughs> badgers only. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
for you to, to the, the Fandango. Fandango. And the boat of lightning, very, very frighteningly. Galileo. Galileo. Is it Lee or me? What? Oh, no. I thought it was Batman. I was going to say, Batman has lost his mask. That is not Batman. I don't know. Oh, it's your mask. Count Stankus' mask. Now he can fight crime again. He is awesome. How'd you like the con, bro? How'd you like the con? You are digging the con? into my skin. You loving the con? You loving the con? Comic con? You loving the comic con? Comic con? You loving the comic con? You like comics? You like comics? You like comics? You like comics? Oh, yes. I'm not sure if this is very exciting. Or very right here, so terrifying. They're for them. They're right here. They're right in front of you. What? They're right in front of you. You know, one of our earliest things, our, our founder got all the equipment you would need to laser scan stuff, packed it in a Winnebago, shipped it over to New Zealand, and scanned all the actors, props, and costumes for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Wow. So that you get the most accurate product that you could possibly get out of that information. So we continue that today. We've got a 15-person team out at Pinewood Studios doing the same thing for all the Star Wars movies. The exhibit hall will be opening momentarily. Exhibitors, please return to your voice of God. They're Friends. calling it. They're calling it. <laughs> These are based on some of the covers from Old Man Logan. You know, you have your Wolverine first appearance, your sort of 80s Wolverine, 1984, the That's Frank the Miller era. Then you have your 90s Wolverine, and then Old Man Logan. Deadpool's gonna start singing 9 to 5 here over and over again. So. Alright. I gotta be honest with you, I find this highly intimidating. A little scary. Come on! Come on, come on in here! Come on in here! Kill me! Kill me! Come on in here! Come on! Oh, okay. no, he's gonna kill us! Showing at the show for the very first time, we have Dengar. And for Dengar, you know, we don't know a lot about Dengar, so we wanted to sort of yeah, tell a different story. So we looked at a lot of World War One and World War Two photos of sort of the older soldiers, those really war-weary guys. And so we thought that would be kind of an interesting story to tell with him, that he's just kind of exhausted, he's worn out. You know he's seen a lot of stuff. So this is our original IP that we've been working on for a couple of years. We've got four other statues that we've done previously in the line of these, you know, the sort of sexy secret agent-y uh, ladies. Junior is one that we've shown before, but we've reworked a lot of her. She'll come with a couple of alternate head sculpts. She's got the helmet, but she'll have a version where the helmet's on. <laughs> Too nice. Then this one is one we're calling Codename Brexit, or Danny Mint is her real name. And you can see there's a lot of different, uh, you know, like we've got actual wires in there. There's like an actual fur coat on the Russian. We've got the, the, the tutu on her, so we, we use a lot of sort of mixed media. It's the same the, tutu you have, Count That's Stankus. right. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I won't tell, you won't tell anyone anybody. on the internet. Definitely shot first. No, she yeah. shot first. This one shot I just realized. I got nothing else to say.